Hey, I'm Brian Ensign, and I've got a 4th Gen 2001 Firebird right here on the spoiler. So today we're going to unbox and install a center console lid. I just got this in, and if you're interested in doing this to yours, I'll leave a link in the description below. And I want to say a special shout out to my dad, Mark. Thank you so much. He's very excited for the build, so he sent me this, which is really awesome. So, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, wow. This is super clean. Wow. So this is what it looks like. The button on here is slightly different. Um, man, I can't get over it. It's so firm. It's so tight. It's, it smells good. Um, the build quality, everything is tucked really well. Um, all of the bolts are squared and centered up. Um, it looks like it's got some nuts here that are pre-spun. can put these on. This is not the style that I have installed, so we're going to take a look. I may use these, or I may use the ones that are on there. I'm just going to have to take a look and see what it looks like. Um, but what a lot of people do when they get out of the car is they put their elbow in and they push up. That causes it to break in the center. puts a lot of pressure, snaps it in half, the sun beats it up. Especially on these convertibles, the sun just beats on there. So it'll start to, to crack or smash down the middle. Most of you guys that have them, you know, the first things that go are the, the, the sides of the door, the center console, and the dashboard. So very, very nice. Um, I'm very excited for this. So let's take a look at the one that's installed. I'm going to set it next to it and we're going to check out the color difference, see which one matches better, see the difference in quality and the build. Now, one of the best parts about having a convertible, other than the obvious, is the ability to get on top of the car and work on it. So to get to the center console, I'm just going to stand in the back and look straight down. I'm going to need a Phillips screwdriver because the type of the screws that are in there now, and I don't know if they're stock or this is aftermarket put in, do have a Phillips head right here in the center. This is the center console that's in there. This top piece is broken completely out. And the plastic separating, again, from people putting their elbow down uh, coming up. But if you look at the color difference, this is like a gray and my center console and the rest is is black this is the ebony so what's strange to me is this is a two-tone but my seats are gray i don't know enough about the interior differences to know if these are the same if this came in it if this is supposed to be that way i know that my dashboard and everything else is correct and this is ebony but these do seem different this is my obd2 reader so looking straight down at it here and i put some towels down this is a a phillips and there's six here three here three here and then there's some to take this part out now I'm gonna take this out as a whole and I'm just gonna remove these I'm thinking I can leave this piece in here and just use the new one so I'm gonna take these three out and you know what these are loose already and I'm gonna remove these right here starting with this one put a shop towel in here that way if I drop anything I can find it these aren't really that big a deal because I can replace them but I really don't want to replace a lot of screws if I don't need to. So this is on the new ones. These have a little nut with a screw on them and I'm thinking it's gonna sit just like that. Now this has a little bit of an angle and this one doesn't so I'm not sure how it's gonna fit but it looks like what's under here is already angled. So let's get this off and see what we can do with it here. Oh it looks like it comes off. Ah okay so here is the hinge. This is dirty but I'll clean it off. Here is the hinge, and this should line up with this perfectly. So this is going to be at an angle, this should hold closed, and let me put this closed, oh, I can't, it's spring related. So let's see what it would look like down. So look at the color, do you think this color looks more correct? To me, it looks like it matches better. I mean look at that, it's the same, versus what was on there this year this is what was on there so in my opinion the replacement actually matches better than what was in there so these are pretty similar but these are not at all this looks great so what do you guys think let me know in the comments below if you think that the color on the one that was on there was better and I should replace it or if the color from the replacement is better I really think that that looks really nice I'm gonna have to line it up and put the bolts in but man the color looks great so here's a look at the old unit, uh, the screws that came out of the bottom. It's not too bad, it's just, it really started to separate right here. This part's kind of blown out. It's all in one piece. Usually when I see them, they're completely destroyed, they're broken, they're completely missing, they've been ripped off. 
but this one is not too bad. It's just peeled up from here. I think this has to do with heat and pressure. So it is broken right here. I'm glad I replaced it, but um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I feel like I, I thought I was gonna take it off and, and it was gonna be completely gone. Um, but again, from the color and the new one and comfort, this one is a little thicker. So comfort level, if you're gonna push on it, it's got a little bit more give on it, but I don't, I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm resting my arm on it all day and trying to fall asleep. Um, these are all definitely destroyed though. They're blown out completely. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh wow, it's perfect. It looks really nice. I need to torque it down, but pushing this button, this button's very stiff, it's very tough, but that's not a bad thing. That's good because I don't want it to come open while I'm driving. I don't want to bump it and have it come open. This holds really well, it's really tight. The button's perfect to use. It doesn't take much, but just, just a little bit of weight. When you're driving, sometimes you're on the phone, you're gonna do something, you're trying to talk to somebody, you just got some food at the drive-through and you wanna just hit your thumb and get something out of here and put it back. Maybe you're looking for a car charger or whatever. Um, this is perfect. So I'm gonna torque this down. We're gonna get some other pictures and video of it and see what it looks like. Here is a little bit closer look. The button does stick out a little bit so you can feel it. That's kind of nice so when you're driving, you can stick your thumb on it, but just a little press opens right up. Holds tight, doesn't come up. And I'll show you the clip in there. This is what it looks like here. This moves in and it locks. Perfect, doesn't rattle. It only does it when I push down on it, bang it. Um, the other one did the same thing, but very, very clean. Stays open.